Good morning everyone and uh, we just hit Wales and uh, we're headed down the motorway from Lancaster. Uh, it's taken us about an hour and 15 minutes to get uh, into Wales and now we're about six miles from Langollen. And uh, I've got Mark behind me on his uh, katana and uh, we're just concerned about fuel um, because there's no fuel gauge but just a uh, an old style tap for reserve so uh, Hopefully another five miles to get to Langollen. I know there's a petrol station there so we can uh, fill up and continue our journey up to Lake Barla where we're going to get lunch. Lovely day, uh, lovely bank holiday weekend and uh, there was a lot of motorway traffic. Uh, we had a few holdups near Warrington and uh, also on the, uh, the Chester Road. Uh, so we did plenty of filtering and uh, we beat all the traffic so that was good so we've got the uh, a new mic set up that i rigged up last night after finding out that the uh, the mic wasn't working since uh, since the world wheelie championship video so uh, the video that was uploaded this morning taken yesterday the Wallings ice cream farm was narrated on the sofa, as I said in the video, with my helmet on, with the new mic set up, and uh, that's the only way I could get audio onto the video, so apologies for that, and back to normal now, I hope, although I won't find out until I edit this video that uh, the sound is uh, back up and running again. So it's nice to get off the motorway and uh, into Wales. It's been a while since I've been here last time. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Mark's first time uh, into this area, but I will check with him. And uh, yeah, I don't know how he's been uh, on the motorway with uh, the zero wind protection on the Katana, but uh, I'll show you that bike shortly. Uh, it's 11.21, so I think we set off about uh, 10 o'clock this morning. Met up at the garage just to fuel up, check our tyres and things. And uh, I'm not sure what the temperature is, but it's an absolute corker today. 25 degrees, lovely. This is what summer's meant to be like, not all that rain that we've had. Obviously going to be a lot of traffic around today, uh, with it being bank holiday. But uh, I don't care, I'm on my bike and I'm in the country. And uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, getting some good footage. So we're about uh, one and a half miles from Langollen. say it's lovely and green I hope it's picking up on the uh, the camera after all the rain we've had everything's in full bloom it's lovely looking forward to getting off the bike and having a stretch fill the tank up and then uh, head up uh, towards uh, Lake Barla well, a few camping Um, we're just hitting the sign here, Langollen, if that's how you pronounce it. It's a lovely place, there's a steam train as well that takes you from here to uh, link up towards Betsy Coward. And a uh, nice river that it runs alongside. I will point out the campsite uh, that I normally stay at when we get to it. And it's a, it's a really nice campsite. Basically, there's a pub 300 yards from it as well, so it's really nice to get uh, food and drink in an evening.
There's a petrol station just around the corner. This is the uh, Texaco station in Langholm. Okay, so we're just heading out of Langholm and uh, on the A5 heading up towards Betsy Covid that way, although we're not going that far. Uh, we'll turn off uh, up here somewhere left to go towards Lake Barla and get some lunch. And uh, yeah, the Texaco station in uh, Langollen, a uh, good place to fill up. It's a uh, shop as well, so you can get some uh, refreshments. Just uh, be careful coming out of Langollen though, um, because you do have a speed camera coming out, and uh, I think the speed limit was 40 miles an hour. Best time to visit this place if you want clear roads. It's probably out of season. A bank holiday weekend is not probably the best time to, uh, to come up here. Uh, September and October time are uh, really nice. Just keep your eye on the weather. You get a good weekend weather-wise. It's, uh, it's lovely. There's also meant to be a, uh, a road which is I think called the Triangle. Uh, which is very famous and it's further up the uh, the road before you get to Betsy Coed. I've only ever been on it once, might not get to do it today but it's like a racetrack, absolutely gorgeous road, smooth surfaces and that's another thing, yeah the roads in Wales are brilliant, no potholes. to my right, extends into the distance, beautiful spot. Yeah, so Mark's behind me on his katana and he was telling me he thinks the tank is 20, 21, 22 litres, uh, which is more than the MT-10 at 17 litres, so I didn't need to worry about him uh, going on to reserve or running out of fuel coming down. Um, it was about 115 miles or 117 to Langollen to the petrol station where we stopped from Lancaster. So uh, we fueled up there and uh, basically we're uh, heading off now to get lunch, which will be lovely. Nice little spot there, popular with bikers. 
recall seeing that before, so it must be uh, must be new. I think it was last year when I came down to uh, to Wales last time. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you saw that poor oh, pigeon. But that car in front just annihilated a pigeon. You did see all the feathers. Probably all stuck to my bike. Oh my god. Bless. So don't ask me to pronounce these signs, by the way, because I have no idea what they say. <laughs> the Welsh language is in another league. station on the right here. So I think we're just coming through Colwyn now. Um, if I pronounced it right. So this junction ahead, uh, where it says Ruthin, um, the A494, um, the A5104, um, absolute corker of a road, it is a 50 mile an hour limit on that road, most of it, um, but it's an absolute classic and I think we'll go back that way. Um, so the junction right just ahead, and then a couple of miles after this junction is the turning left towards Barla. Did you see that pigeon? Did you see the pigeon? Did you see the pigeon? There's also another fuel station just down here on the right somewhere. Yep, 
Here we go. Another Texaco station. That's uh, that's normally the one I fill up when I come back over the mountain and uh, down this way to get the hell out of Wales. Police are out in force today. They said they would be. Bank holiday. If you are off work in the week, guys, and uh, I would say that would be the best time to come up here and do this, this route, uh, because you're not going to come across any traffic at all during the week, just, uh, just locals. But you can't win on a weekend where it's a bank holiday, can you? It's just going to be uh, everybody's out. If the road surface is picking up on the camera too well, but uh, it's just smooth surfaces, absolute cracky roads. I do know one road where there won't be any traffic, and that's the road over the mountain from uh, from Barla. The old wind turbines up on the hill there aren't turning. Absolutely zero wind today. nipping past the traffic but with us being two of us and uh, Mark Tommy's Kasana I, uh, I'm not bothering it's nice to take in the view Absolutely beautiful scenery. Lovely. Absolutely stunning road, and I will take that in today and show you. You can go left there down towards the lake and the campsites. And then we're going to try and pull up and park somewhere on our left.
videos, please subscribe and hit the bell button for regular reminders of new videos coming up.